Hey everybody, it's Kendra. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you've been here before. Yes, we are in my kitchen today, so that means we are doing a little cooking video. So I'm gonna show you today how to make a shrub. Okay, so you're like, shrub, what's that? Is that a bush, is that a tree? No, shrub is another name for drinking vinegar. And this type of thing has actually become really, really quite trendy, quite popular, um, especially in this sort of craft cocktail scene. A shrub is actually a syrup made from fruit, fresh fruit, sugar, and vinegar. And this dates back, you know, way, way, way back in time before there was refrigeration. And then this was just a way to preserve fruit. So if you have ever been to Portland, you maybe have seen these. There is a restaurant called Pok Pok, and then they have this brand Som, which it says drinking vinegar, but it's the exact same thing. So shrub is drinking vinegar. So I have the pomegranate one and I have the honey one, and they're fine, they're decent, but I definitely prefer to make my own. Plus these were each like $15 and I'm kind of a cheapo. So I like to make my own for that reason as well. So I actually went to a local strawberry farm and picked a ton of strawberries and you're gonna see exactly what I picked in just a second. Um, I picked a ton of strawberries and then I made fresh strawberry shrub from those berries and it is super, super, super delicious. So here you go, take a little peek and I'll show you how to make shrub. All right friends, so as you can see, I have a uh, whole lot of strawberries here. This is about 27 pounds of strawberries. I literally just got home five minutes ago from the strawberry patch. If you are in the Madison, Wisconsin area, I would highly recommend Carindale Farms or in Oregon, Wisconsin. They're fabulous. I love them. And these are actually, this is actually the third time I've gone. So I have a lot of berries. You can see my beautiful strawberry stained hands. So I got nice and dirty in the strawberry patch today. Now, these berries are a little bit different. They're two different kinds. These ones are prettier, even though I did, you know, remove a lot of the stems when I was in the field because that's kind of annoying to actually uh, have to clean at home. It takes forever. But these ones over here, these are kind of a special berry and these were like slightly dehydrated. Nobody was actually picking these today. I had to ask specifically if I could pick some of these, but because they're slightly dehydrated, oh, my goodness gracious, they may be so ugly, but they have such an intense, beautiful, sweet strawberry flavor. Absolutely incredible and absolutely perfect for making shrub. So these are the berries that I will be using for shrub and I'll be freezing pretty much all of these. Um, these will be excellent for like shrub and also flavoring my kombucha and my June. All right, let's make some strawberry shrub. So this is super, super, super easy. I have one cup of strawberries here. Now these are those kind of ugly, wonky looking strawberries, but believe me, they taste so good. They are so flavorful and delicious. And then I have one cup of sugar. This is just plain old cane sugar. I'm gonna dump that in and then we stir. So as you can see, I tried to get a lot of the sugar from the bottom all over the strawberries. This will not look at all the same way in 24 hours. I'm gonna let this sit for 24 hours and basically the sugar is gonna kind of work with the strawberries and it's just gonna like suck out all of the liquid in the strawberries and this is gonna be this whole like liquidy mess tomorrow. So I'm just gonna cover this up and let this sit out on my counter for 24 hours. All right, I am back, oh, maybe like 18 hours after I did this yesterday. Let's open this guy up and let me show you how crazy the strawberries now look. They are so, so, so liquidy. I just think it's, I think it's so magical how this happens. And the smell is so good. Those kind of dehydrated strawberries, <gasps> such an amazing scent. All right, so now what I need to do is drain out the liquids from the solids, discard the solids, keep the liquids. Um, now, how I'm gonna do this, I've got a Pyrex quart measure here, and then I've got one of these nice strainers. This is a pretty fine mesh strainer, and that works perfectly for this. So basically all I'm gonna do is dump this into the strainer and then I'm gonna push it with a spatula um, and I scrape out all of this sugar too. So there is a lot of sugar sitting here, but you're actually gonna want that to go through the strainer because it's gonna make your syrup nice and sweet and yummy. All right, let's finish off our shrub. So I ended up getting about one cup. There's just slightly over one cup in my Pyrex. And then here in my smaller Pyrex, this is actually a two cup Pyrex. 
This is kombucha vinegar. So I have two cups of kombucha vinegar that I'm gonna add to my strawberry sugary syrup. Now, if you are using normal vinegar, I would recommend using either apple cider vinegar or red wine or champagne vinegar. Um, if you use non-kombucha vinegar, only do one cup. Kombucha vinegar is not quite as acidic as other vinegars, thus why I use two cups. So basically, just gonna dump these together. All right, I'll give it a little stir and then I am ready to put it in a bottle. So I've actually got an old GT's kombucha bottle that I'm going to use and I've got my little metal funnel here and I'm just gonna go ahead and dump this in the bottle. All right, so there you go, that's it. Shrub is super, super, super simple to make. Um, I love making shrub, especially in summer because there's such an abundance of produce, but as you can tell from my demo, it's a great way to use up ugly kind of fruit. You know, actually after I made this, after I made the strawberry shrub, I realized I had some old nectarines that eh, maybe were just a little bit too ripe for actually eating. So I turned them into shrub and it's delicious and wonderful. So it's a really, really nice way to just use up all of your fruit. Other flavors of shrub that I have done and that I have loved, raspberry is delicious. I also just did a blueberry ginger, which is really nice. I, I have not done plain blueberry, but I think plain blueberry would just be whew, so lovely. Um, I've also done, did the nectarine, done the strawberry, I've done peach, I've done kiwi, I think that's been about it. But shrub is a really fun way to sort of play with the seasonal fruit and you can also play around with herbs and spices, both fresh and dried. And finally, I just wanna show you like how I actually drink this stuff. So I'm just gonna lightly shake it up, you know, just to get all like the sugars and stuff mixed together. We've got a little cup here and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna put in maybe like two tablespoons, not a whole lot, just a very small amount of shrub and then I'm gonna use some bubbly water. I've got a little bottle of Pellegrino here. You could use flat water. Also, if you're making like a vodka tonic, gin and tonic, a vodka soda, oh, that would be super, super yummy with a little bit of shrub. So just gonna put some bubbly water in here. And this just dilutes it. So it will still be a little bit sweet, but it's so refreshing, super, super lovely. I also really think kids would enjoy this. And it doesn't even really have too much of a vinegary flavor like you know you'd think like oh a cup two cups of vinegar that's a lot actually it's not like it plays very very nicely with the fruit and the sugar so it's not overwhelmingly like vinegary or sour at all if you are ever sick and you have shrub on hand i would totally recommend making some type of little like hot toddy with your shrub just heat up some water put in some shrub super super soothing on your throat feels so so good there you go that's a little bit about shrub and how to make shrub i would love to hear about any shrub flavors that you come up with um it's a very very refreshing drink especially for summer so anyway thank you so much for watching like comment subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye